hi if any of you have been under ayurvedic treatment for any any disease you must have definitely heard of uh, medicines like uh, gugulu tikta kashaya gugulu tikta kruda kaishore gugulu yogaraj gugulu simhanada gugulu or arogya vardhini vadi chandra prabha kutika and uh, these are the formulations some of the formulations important formulations that uh, make use of gugulu and uh, why is gugulu so very important and uh, why is it widely used in many of the ayurvedic formulations uh, it is because of its um, of its uh, active principles and uh, it has the uh, ability to act on uh, several organs it uh, stimulates the endocrine glands especially it uh, stimulates the uh, functioning capacity of uh, thyroid gland it burns fat in the body and it doesn't allow the conversion of uh, the unwanted or uh, empty calorie foods into triglycerides it checks that so that is why there is a wide immense application of uh, this uh, gugulu so in detail about gugulu what is its botanical name its botanical name is comifora mukul it's from the family berseriaceae and how to obtain uh, the resin the active the part that is used is uh, medicinally is oligo gum resin and it is obtained by making circular incisions on the stem bark of gugulu previously with hingu we said that incisions are made on the rhizome here the incisions are made on the stem bark and uh, and uh, the, what are the qualities or physical characteristics of this resin this resin is of uh, aromatic smell and a uh, bitter taste and um, it uh, its color is uh, brownish or uh, dull green then um, coming to the properties according to ayurveda we say that uh, gugulu is of uh, predominantly kadudikta rasa and of ushna virya and it is uh, kapavada shamana it is also said as ridosha shamana because it uh, pacifies pitta also to a certain extent the words for that is uh, gugulu kadudikta ushna kapamaruta kasajit krimi vadodara pliha shobha arshakno rasayana it uh, it is also a good rejuvenator and um, now we'll go into that um, what is the active principle of this resin this resin mainly contains um, sterols and sterones the name of that uh, is uh, one is gugulu sterone e and z and the other one is gugulu sterols 1 2 and 3 so we have to ensure that uh, if we are preparing these medicines or uh, on a large scale or even on a small scale it's better and it one has to un, uh, like carry out these tests for resin whether to know that uh, the substance that we obtained in the name of gugulu is true resin or not or whether it has been adulterated with something like tar which isn't uh, uh, like which isn't accept, acceptable to for internal use so for that we have to un, understand the test for resin so let's go into that simple test is by trituration with the water and we get to see an emulsion which is of white in color milky white emulsion and with the asafoetida we said that the emulsion is of yellowish orange in color here it is of white color then one test is there it is which has to be done definitely in labs and the test is to the ethyl acetate extract of gugulu at acetic and hydride and then boil and cool and then from the sides of the test tube add 2 ml of sulfuric acid and we get to see at the junction a uh, green color and the presence of green color signifies the presence of sterols and it signifies that the substance we obtained in the name of gugulu is true resin and uh, so that is it about uh, about uh, comifora mukul which is a uh, which is a short uh, th- tree and uh, which uh, gives us this uh, oleogum resin thank you